Hey guys, it's Brooke, and today Fleetwood Mac made the announcement we've all been waiting for. They released a statement on Lindsay Buckingham not touring with them, and they also released their tour announcement. So since my Lindsay Buckingham being fired from Fleetwood Mac video was my most popular video ever, and a lot of you are here from that, I decided I was going to do a follow-up and react to the statement that the band made. We are thrilled to welcome the musical talents of the caliber of Mike Campbell and Neil Finn into the Mac family, the group statement said. With Mike and Neil, we'll be performing all the hits that the fans love, plus we'll be surprising our audiences with some tracks from our historic catalog of songs. Fleetwood Mac has always been a creative evolution. We look forward to honoring that spirit on this upcoming tour. Lindsay Buckingham will not be performing with the band on this tour. The band wishes Lindsay all the best. No offense, but I feel like we wish you all the best is what people always say when they fire someone. According to the majority of the rock band, Stevie Nicks, Christine McVie, John McVie, and Mick Fleetwood, okay, so the actual members of the band, Buckingham's departure came from a scheduling conflict over a world tour. So my comments section of that video became rather heated over how I didn't actually know why he was not in the group. And they claimed that it was a scheduling issue. And if so, that does make me a little bit happier and give me a slight gleam of hope that maybe once Lindsay does get his schedule back together, he will be welcomed back into the group on his own time. Hopefully, once again, I still think they're running on limited time before one of them faces some kind of health problem, God forbid. And, but I, I'm glad to know that they didn't have some kind of dispute. Um, I, I don't know if Lindsay is frustrated with them for doing this, um, but I, I feel like he's probably more understanding of the situation considering it didn't work with his schedule. Um, one thing I said that kind of gave off the impression that he was not pleased was his daughter, um, Lily Buckingham, or Lily underscore Buck on Instagram, she posted a picture on Instagram of like the Fleetwood Mac album covers, and she said Fleetwood Mac is not Fleetwood Mac without you. And so that kind of made everyone be like, oh, they kicked him out. We're supposed to go into rehearsal in June, and he wanted to put it off until November 2019, Nick's told Rolling Stone in an interview published Wednesday. That's a long time. I just did 70 shows. As soon as I finish, I dive back into another thing. Why would we stop now? Instead, after meeting a month ago, this band decided to replace Buckingham and go on a 52-date North American tour. Rolling Stone reported that the group isn't willing to say Buckingham was fired per se. Words like fired are ugly references as far as I'm concerned, Fleetwood said. Not to hedge around, but we arrived at the impasse of hitting a brick wall. This was not a happy situation for us in terms of the logistics of a functioning band. To that purpose, we made a decision that we could not go on with him. Majority rules in terms of what we need to do is abandon go forward. Our relationship has always been volatile. We were never married, but we might as well have been. This is sad for me, but I want the next 10 years of my life to be really fun and happy. I want to get up every day and dance around my apartment and smile and say thank God for this amazing life. <gasps> I hadn't looked at these dates before. They're going to be in Birmingham. Ow! I love my life. And that's not until 2019, too. So I have plenty of time. Are they going to be in... Oh, they're gonna be in Atlanta too. I'm gonna go to both of them. This is this is great. Anyway, so this does clear the air a bit. They're not using the term fired, which is more friendly, and it seems as if if they all, you know, withstand health issues. I love that Stevie said she wants the next 10 years of her life to be happy. That makes me happy. Um, but who knows if she'll actually be blessed with that many more years. And I have seen her. But hopefully 
they will all get back together again one day. It doesn't seem like there's too much bad blood. Um, of course, we don't really have Lindsay's perspective on it, and Lindsay does have a tendency to take things um, over the top sometimes, but we will just see. This is a more positive outlook, and I'm really excited about this tour. So yeah, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you guys on Saturday with my Eagles concert experience video. Bye! <laughs> Also, this is totally random, but I felt bad about this since I um, made that Lindsay Bunny video. I was a little bit mean to Billy Burnett in that video, so I'm sorry, Billy Burnett. Nothing against you. You're a talented man. I'm sorry.